Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about DIY fast food. So to kick it off, we have homemade Cheez-Its, those favorite little orange cheesy delicious crackers that you would eat when you were little. I know I would eat them by the box. You can make them at home now thanks to Emily Schumann's cupcake and cashmere blog recipe. So they're super easy. You can even use little toothpicks to perforate the actual biscuits so that they look exactly like they do when you buy them at the store. So if you're looking for a nice cheesy snack but you don't want all the weird ingredients that are on the back of those boxes, then you can just make these at home yourself. Coming in at number four, we have homemade Snicker bars from chow.com. So around three o'clock every day, I get a chocolate craving, and if I don't feel like heading up to the vending machine, I could easily make these vegan Snicker bars. They are a little complicated. They have three different layers to them, but they are vegan, so it's a great alternative if you just kind of want to have something that's not only good for a vegan diet, but that's also a bit healthier and doesn't have all those, again, processed ingredients that you find in a regular Snickers bar. Coming in at number three, we have another tasty recipe from the blog Cupcakes and Cashmere. And this one is for all you St. Patty's fans out there. It's the McDonald's Shamrock Shake. So instead of going to the actual store and buying one that has thousands upon thousands of calories, you can make your own frosty delight at home. And the great thing about this little recipe is that you can enjoy it all year long, as opposed to just in March when McDonald's is serving it. Next up at number two, we have another classic, homemade Oreo cookies. So I love Oreo cookies. I could eat an entire box in one sitting. It's pretty embarrassing, but it's true. And we have Jessica from Desserts with Benefits, a blog that has offered us this recipe. And it has two steps. You have to make the little cookies and then that delicious filling that I always save for last. So this is a great alternative, again, because it's not necessarily healthy, but it's definitely more healthy than the packaged Oreo cookie. Coming in at number one is a recipe that I am super excited about. It comes to us from Ashley at the blog Food52, and it is DIY cream eggs. So everybody's favorite Easter treat, debatable with the actual mini eggs. I think I like the cream eggs better. But you can make this at home. It's a bit of a process. You have to make the cream, you have to make the chocolate, you have to dip the actual cream once it's hardened in the chocolate and then let it cool. But it's a long process that I think is worth it because cream eggs, like the shamrock shake, are not available all year. So you can eat the cream eggs whenever you want. And they are a bit healthier as they probably contain a lot less ingredients than the actual cream eggs from Cadbury. So I think you should go make this right now and send me some of them, because I will eat them. If you decide to make me some cream eggs or any of the other four delicious DIY fast food recipes, please feel free to tweet me at Jamie Neely to let me know when I can be expecting them.